Hello everyone, I'm Radhima from Tor of Sales Classes and we are discussing some important questions from the Gate Economics 2023 examination. So, uh, the first question in this video is question number 28 and the question is the uh, IMF, that is the International Monetary Fund, began operations in which year, right? So, the year given 1942, 1947, 1945 and 1940. Now, there is a tendency to commit a mistake in this question that is uh, whenever we talk about IMF, uh, IMF, we are always trying to find out 1945 because that is the year of foundation. But read the question again carefully. Here you have been asked about the working of the IMF. So, this is foundation. It was founded, right? 1945 is foundation of IMF. But operation, that is working of IMF was in 1947. So the correct answer should be 1947, okay? Operation began in this year. Okay, let's move to the next question. So according to the Working Group of Money Supply, Analytics and Methodology of Compilation 1998 constituted by the RBI, which of the following not a component of the new monetary aggregate NM1? So first of all, let us write down the first component NM1 is equals to we know currency with the public plus demand deposits with bank plus other deposits with RBI, right? Other than these, if there are any components, and that is definitely not a part of NM1, then we move on to the next components and so on. So that means C is definitely a part, demand deposits is a part, other deposit is a part, but short term time deposits. So we do not include time deposits in the first component of money supply. That is why C is our correct answer. Because we have been asked which is not the component, because A, B and D all are components of this particular and C is not. Okay. Next question number 30 is about stagflation. So what is stagflation? So what is the way to remember stagflation? Stagflation are basically amalgamation of two words. That is stagnation plus inflation. So that is stagflation. Stagnation means Something which is static, the economy is not moving and with a lot of unemployment. Because production is not increasing, so there is a stagnant situation. That means there is high unemployment plus high inflation. So that means both unemployment and inflation are high. So option B is the correct answer. Next question, an analyst regressed Y on X1 and X2, right? So this is, um, there are two independent variables and one dependent variable. Now let us we found out that X1 is equal to 5X2, that means X1 is dependent on X2. Then which of the following assumption of the classical linear regression model was violated? So first of all, when the two Independent variables are related in a model, so there is problem of multicollinearity, right? Problem of multicollinearity. That is, cov of x i comma x j is not equals to zero. So, according to the classical linear regression model, according to the model, I'm talking about according to the model, according to CLRM, cov of x i comma x j should be zero. That means this is the condition that is violated, that is multicollinearity. So according to CLRM, there should be no multicollinearity. But according to this problem, there is multicollinearity. That means no multicollinearity condition is violated. So not homoscedasticity, not this, not this, but definitely no perfect multicollinearity. This is the assumption of CLRM which is violated. So option B. 